anti-authority Dusty is very real. The simplest of things, at the Performance Center, you were supposed to wear a polo. You were supposed to wear a polo shirt that said WWE PC, and Dusty just refused that polo till the day he died. He never wore that polo, and it was just great because they literally memo line it because it's so... Like, please have your PC on. We'll be filming this day. Or TMZ Sports will be there. Please, Dusty, please wear the polo. <laughs> and he'd just do random stuff. Like, F Finn Balor showed up there for the first time, and he took him out in the, the, the area of the parking lot and was like, do you know how to drive on this side of the road? And just put him in his truck. And it's <laughs> like, just, just wanted to, like, get to know him because getting to know somebody you get to know them in a way that you can connect. And he's also the reason they put, hey, we're not gonna do fake fans. Why don't the boys just watch the matches and be the fans? Why are, there, why are they fake talking? Like, just put the boys out there to react to the matches. Yeah, he had a, his PC run is pretty legendary. He broke all the rules and had an office that wasn't even like really an office. It was like a still photo room that they made an office for him. But Stephanie, there, was, there were pictures on the wall. Brandy knows because Brandy's picture moved up um, and got bigger. But the biggest, By request. The, biggest, <laughs> the biggest picture was Stephanie randomly, this shot of Stephanie. They had this really fun like, connection with each other. And I, I know that he pissed her off with that interview. But he, if you're going to bring him up to TV, it's kind of like we were talking about being everything, your own producer, your own. If you're going to bring somebody up who knows what they're doing, don't tell them what they're doing. They already, they already know the story. I'm not saying you go off the rails. I'm not saying you do your own thing. If, you're, if you know the story, which you, he literally does, he's my real father. He gets it. You don't need to script him. And, you know, Hall of Fame 2007 in Detroit, he's got his uh, induction. And I remember at Laurinaitis told him that this, uh, this guy, he's your writer for your thing if you need any help. <laughs> my, my dad was like, yeah. So why don't you go get me some coffee? <laughs> and then I, he came back with a coffee. And he was like looking forward to writing something. And he told him, he's like, you're not going to have to write nothing. <laughs> but you, I'm going to tell him you wrote some stuff, OK? And the, you, the guy was like, oh, all right. All right. Cool, Dusty. Like, he still had the headset on, too. Like in the backstage of the Hall of Fame, like like he had written the promo that was going on. Oh man.